How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? And welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, a show that I have still never seen the opening title sequence to. It just occurred to me. I'm five episodes in, don't even know what the theme song sounds like. Uh, so this time, we're, uh, we're, we're gonna watch that. But first, it's time we answer the question, what could equal the value of a human soul? Microwavable meals. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. I was using meal kits for a while because I wanted to expand my palate. You know, eat some new foods I wouldn't normally pick up myself at the grocery store. The problem was that I hate cooking and I'm way too busy to do it. So most of these meal kits would just rot away in my fridge. But what's great about Factor is that they send you fully prepared meals ready to be micro microwaved and eaten within two minutes. Too busy with your summer plans to cook? Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. And if you want to add this level of convenience to your life, make sure you head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code DMODA50 to get 50% off your first Factor box today. Thank you so much again to Factor for sponsoring this video, and now, let's get into it. Oh, she got hit with a gentle breeze! This opening goes so hard. This is like one of the coolest anime openings I've ever seen, I'm not even being dramatic. Like, I love this cool little rap breakdown in the middle of it. I'm not gonna show any more of it for fear of copyright. But this whole thing is super hype. What do you have there, Ed? <laughs> it's a present. I transmuted it. Ed, this better not be another piece of my fucking floor. You did? You're your father's son, all right. <laughs> Lady, you gotta move on from your husband already. This mom is the only parent present in the family, and all of her lines are about the husband. You gotta become your own independent woman, lady. Quit letting yourself be defined by your husband. Why couldn't you make mommy better, Ed? <laughs> Big brother. Let's oh my god, this is the worst nightmare anybody has had in the history of falling asleep. Brother, are you alright? You were dreaming. You want to know how I know this show has passion behind it? Because these animators knew that that small little moment needed a ton of animation. All Edward did just now was sigh and hug his leg. Realistically, you could get that done in like a handful of frames. But the animators gave that moment so much fluidity and animated so many frames of it because they knew how important that fluidity would be in properly conveying the emotions Edward was feeling. He goes from confused to relieved to sad to utterly defeated all within that moment there, and every second of each of those emotions was animated flawlessly. It just occurred to me that Edward wakes up every day and gives himself a French braid first thing in the morning. Or is Al the one braiding his hair? There's gotta be stickers out there of Al braiding Ed's hair, right? Like, that has to be the first piece of merchandise conceived from this show. God has given us a great trial, my children. Wicked heathens have spread insidious rumors trying to shake our faith. What the hell? Didn't this guy get eaten? Didn't this guy get eaten and cocoed? How does he still have so many followers? Yeah, father. Sorry to have to put you to all of this trouble. As soon as we have everything handled here, I have my own responsibilities I need to get back to. Oh, nice. Classic shapeshifter shenanigans going on here. Are lots of people gonna die again? Yes, they will. Who can I eat all of them after they die? No, you may not. This guy needs like five more lines added to his character design. Like some forehead wrinkles or some lips. Something. Anything other than this Play-Doh pumpkin look he's got going on here. He looks like Bone. It looks like Bone from the Bone comics. Anybody remember Bone? Am I dating myself here? Anybody have every volume of Bone in their scholastic library? By the way, Envy, could you lose the old man costume? It's rather unattractive. Come on, I was just staying in character. What are you two fucking? This time around, I'll go with a younger, younger cuter model. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, never mind. Fuck away. You guys make a great couple. If you put this guy in the exact same outfit, but color it all blue, he would make a great looking water type gym leader. We can't very well let him die. He's an important sacrifice. Ugh, that was 
was so yummy! We'll find some way of handling the situation. Am I the only one who finds gluttony, like, fucking terrifying? The fact that he's, like, just a guy makes him so much more disturbing than if he was, like, a big monster or something. Like, he's just a dude eating people. Imagine how brutal and grisly it would be to get eaten by another human. Nobody will blame you. Please, I'm asking as your friend. You and Tucker are the only state alchemist of note in this area, right? <sighs> Oh no. I like how the alchemists are constantly forgetting about Ed and Al. Like they're never in the loop on anything. They just get sent on missions and then when they come back, the alchemists are like, oh yeah, that's right, you guys, uh... All right, here's another mission. Now here I am again, trying desperately to figure out a way to do the impossible. I'm such a hopeless idiot. Yeah, you see, this would have hit so much harder if Brotherhood kept the moment from the original where Ed was, like, about to attempt to split them up. Without a body, I can't feel the rain hitting my face. That's something I miss all the time. All the time? All right, Al sufficiently bummed me out about not having a body. Good job. It's sad boy hour for the Elric brothers right now, huh? I like how Ed's like, every drop of rain that hits my skin is more depressing than the last. And Al just comes in like, you want to talk about having skin, Ed? <laughs> Everybody's always shocked when this guy comes busting out of their concrete prison, but like, doesn't that just imply that he's as strong as the alchemist who made it? Like, if you make a concrete prison with alchemy, and then a guy breaks out of that concrete prison, assumedly it takes about as much alchemical energy to do both of those actions. I just don't understand the power scaling in this world. I do like that Ed and Al are meeting Scar this early though. Like I love, I love introducing this alchemist Terminator into the mix. Who are you anyway? Why are you after us? As long as there are creators like you in the world, there must also be destroyers. Ugh, one of these guys, huh? I hate characters who are like, I am evil because you are good. There must always be a balance between good and evil. Like, shut up. No, there doesn't. Just stop committing crime. Things can be just good. Balance is good. Balance doesn't mean a bunch of chaos mixed with a bunch of peace. Too slow. Oh, Jesus Christ, we'll alchemist him back! I like how there's this, like, mesh or, like, net inside of Al. That's a cool, weird little detail. I'm not gonna leave you behind, Al! You press your hands together to make a ring, and then you perform transmutation. Now I see. Okay, you may see, but I'm gonna need, like, three more sentences worth of explanation, please. What do you mean he claps his hands together to make a ring? What does that mean? I don't understand the correlation between clapping your hands and drawing a chalk circle. Then I will have to start by destroying this abhorrent right arm of yours. God, this dude's over here attacking their gimmicks. It's like he's retconning them to death. Alchemists alter things from their natural form, perverting them to something else, something grotesque. They profane God, the true creator of all things. I didn't realize how much religious themes would be in this show, but they're like, most of the themes of the show. This is truly an auspicious day. So you know who I am and you still want to challenge me. Bad decision. <laughs> nice, great fake it till you make it energy, Mustang. Yeah, didn't his lieutenant say Mustang was useless when it's raining? H how do you forget that? If I was an alchemist police who became useless when it rained, I would become a double major in criminal justice and weather forecasting. We'll see how you fare against the strong arm alchemist, Alex Luis Armstrong. Yet another state alchemist. God is putting them in my path for me. You sure it's God attracting all of the police to you and not all of your, uh, you know, killing police? <laughs> sick! What an awesome and complicated form of alchemy. That was sweet! He uses punches to transform objects? What an annoying extra step. What do you mean? Destruction and creation are two sides of the same coin! You must destroy to create! That is the law of the universe! Oh god, Armstrong's one of these types too. Maybe him and Scar should just talk things over. They've clearly got a lot in common. Non-alchemists may fail to see the inherent truth of that statement, but we understand, don't we, Scar? So this killer is an alchemist too. What? Yeah, he's an alchemist? 
What, did you think he was just your run-of-the-mill god of lightning? Are there non-alchemists with superpowers in this world? Like, what else could he be? You're not getting away. <laughs> Uh, sir? I know, he got away! Oh, great! And now my arms come off because my brother's a big, fat idiot! That was a perfect reaction from Al. God, fucking look what you did, Ed! <laughs> We're really falling apart, aren't we, brother? We? You're talking to me about falling apart right now? Hey, I'm falling apart too, Al. Just look at my arm. Look at my everything! Whoa, hardcore montage. I also love the collection of characters that were in that. Like the Chains and Cannons Alchemist, Mustang, and then, assumedly, one of the antagonists. I think, I think the guy in the prison cell that we saw once before? Like, what a cool way to squeeze a ton of intrigue out of this flashback. Because you've got so many layers, it's like, okay, if that's the guy in the prison, he very much looks like, um, like, Greed and, um, what, what's the name, uh, Gluttony. Like, he looks like that crew. So you've got that layer of intrigue, coupled with the fact that he's there with Mustang. So that's a whole extra layer. Very cool. I, I like this, I like this flashback sequence. Before we can make any headway on getting your body back, we have to get my arm back to normal. Oh yeah, sure. Let's start with your body. Let's always start with your body. Uh, come on, Al. It's not like your body's going anywhere. Yeah, or coming back anytime soon. Brief episode transition. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon, where you'll get access to tons of exclusive content, including an exclusive reaction video each month. Right now, I'm reacting to Blue Lock, and you'll also have access to all my Food Wars reactions I've done in the past. Top of that, you get access to my private Discord server, where you can chat with me and other members of this wonderful little community. You also get access to all the live streams I've recorded in the past and will record in the future. On top of all that, you're just helping out the page a ton and ensuring that I'm able to keep putting out content as frequently as I do. If all that sounds exciting to you, make sure you check out the Patreon link in my description below. And now, on to the next one. The Major's here to help. Just try to grin and bear it. Children could be so stubborn. Hey, shut up! I'm no child! You're really gonna try and convince this guy that you aren't a child? Everyone's a child compared to Armstrong. This dude's about as man as you can get. Armstrong is the gold standard of what a man can be. You know those examples of guys lifting weights on the on the machines at the gym? That's Armstrong. I thought he might get lonely with that little My company. brother isn't some kind of farm animal! I feel like Al would love riding with the sheep. It seems like an upgrade to me. Dr. Marco! Dr. Marco, that is you, isn't it? This Dr. Marco guy must be some kind of big deal if he made Armstrong grow a whole ass mouth. It's me, Alex Luis Armstrong from Central! <laughs> Friend of yours? Armstrong must be some kind of monster if he made this guy break into a whole ass sprint. Excuse me, but do you know who this person is by any chance? Oh, Major, you can really draw. The art of portraiture has been passed down to the Armstrong family for generations. What a cute moment. I like Ed complimenting Armstrong and Armstrong being like, Nah, oh, shucks. So you're here to silence me then? No, nothing like that. I won't be tricked by you. <clears throat> I'll ask you one more time, please calm down. Dead. Murdered. Say, what's inside your box of the- OH, IT'S PAIN! So, you changed your name and decided to live in hiding way out here in the countryside. Al, get out of the box. What are you doing? Just because you look like Cargo doesn't mean you have to act like it. I know that his leg is busted, but like, I don't know, put him in a seat or something. Get him a chair, prop him up. This can't be good for his self-esteem. How can that be the stone? It's liquid. <sighs> Oh, that's rad. I don't know why, but a liquid stone is a really cool idea to me. It's just like the stone that false priest had in Lior. It was incomplete, but it still amplified his powers considerably. I don't understand why people are calling it the Philosopher's Stone if there are multiple stones. Or are these like recreations of the Philosopher's Stone? When I hear Philosopher's Stone, I'm assuming we're talking about one rock, right? Am I the only one who thinks that way? Like, Philosopher's Stone doesn't sound like a breed of rock. It sounds like a singular stone. Still, 
but still, we don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only doctor to get it. Cargo doesn't get an opinion, Al. You can either be in the box or be in the conversation. You can't do both. Yeah, a lot has happened. Can you fix us up? This is Major Alex Louis Armstrong. Oh, check out RoboDog. That's a good boy. That's a great boy. Am I allowed to say that about this one without fear of him being stuffed into the DNA of a child? But you better believe you're gonna pay a fortune in rush order fees. <laughs> Damn, Chris Evans ain't got shit on Armstrong. Who remembers that wood chopping scene from Age of Ultron? I feel like that scene would have been 10 times more intimidating if Captain America punched the wood apart in front of Iron Man. Looks like it's about time for me to get supper started. You look like you could eat a lot, but don't worry, there's plenty. Oh no, please don't trouble yourself on my account. Armstrong, who are you trying to fool here? Don't act like that body doesn't take five meals a day to maintain, you fucking mammoth. Don't act like you're not fucking riding your glycemic index every waking second. Armstrong's on a strict diet of anything he fucking looks at. We, we call that the gluttony diet. What determination to burn down your own house to make sure there was no retreat. Come, Edward! Allow me to help you this comforting embrace! Why do you gotta make things weird, Armstrong? He's like the sweetest guy ever. And then he starts stripping. <laughs> That's gonna be on his tombstone. He was the sweetest man ever. And then he started stripping. They said it would take three days, right? So, give him three days. Yo, this dog has got to join the crew. Put a turret on its back or something. He's already a cyborg. He'll make a great addition. Yeah, it feels good. I increased the percentage of chrome this time, so it should be less prone to rusting. The trade-off is that it's not quite as strong, so don't try anything crazy. Why would you do that? His arm didn't rust off, it was destroyed. It was destroyed doing something crazy. He fixed a problem that didn't exist and made him more prone to the problem he came here for. Whatever. I guess that's in line with her being a mechanic. <laughs> There you go, you're good as new. I'm surprised Ed doesn't give him like a detractable blade or like a cannon arm or something. You know, like he can shape the armor into anything he wants. I'm surprised it doesn't just make Al a fucking tank. And that was episodes five and six of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. These are some like set up y, lore -y episodes, it seems. Not a ton of action going on. I mean, there was action, but this seemed more to be like. We got some Philosopher's Stone lore, um, and we also got to go back to Winry and Grandma. It was, it was very much like, you know, the first four episodes are like tossing you into the world, getting you like introduced very fast, and then now we're kind of like pumping the brakes and easing into the world. Um, but I love the characters, so that doesn't really bother me. I heard, I heard the original show had a bunch of filler, and like, and a lot of people think this moves at a breakneck speed. And I will say, even though I'm very against filler, these are some characters I can watch dick around through some like non-canon episodes. Like, e yeah, even when it's not like the craziest episodes I've seen, I love Al. Al's great. Ed, Ed's super funny. Um, they're just a great duo. Just a great duo and a great like well-written brother hood ship pair of brothers but those are my uh humble opinions on the show let me know in the comments what you thought of this video these two episodes and let me know what your favorite jokes from the video were as well it helps me make tiktoks youtube shorts all that stuff and i will see you next time, Hold time to me, baby. Won't you come